it is on this item that a mysterious blessing was performed. It should be noted that all the elements had to be organic. The Dalmar successfully released themselves from the control of the vicious god with an intense ritual that seems to have taken days to perform. In the end, the amulet was so powerful that the entity surrendered to their will and offered divine power in exchange for sacrifices. But the Dalmar wouldn't allow to be fooled. They decided that getting rid of this evil once and for all would be the wisest thing to do, so they managed to capture its spirit and store it someplace where they could guard it for ages to come. My god, my god. The evil spirit was cast into a mask, trapped inside the confines of its blessed wood for eternity. A mask which its description bears uncanny resemblance to... Who am I fooling? It is that mask. The Dalmar would keep the spirit at bay via regular rituals involving the bloody sacrifices and the aforementioned amulet. The last book I read today about the Dalmar, in reality two small paragraphs as a musing bonus reading in a book sent by, lent by the museum, has revealed to me something that left me completely paralyzed with terror. I've always wondered, since I began studying them, what made the Dalmar savagely slaughter neighboring tribes without any apparent reason. Was it a violent raw instinct? Did they feel threatened in any way? Was it by a perverse and ungodly sense of enjoyment? No, it was fear. Fear that someone else would take the mask and release the god. They killed to protect themselves from falling again into the dark ages. If they went to such extreme lengths to avoid this, then what did they have to endure when the entity was free? The rituals haven't been performed on the mask for years now. What have I done? What have I done? I was shocked to learn about this evil. Terrible as it was, I still wonder to what extent James Blackwood want went to get rid of the curse. Okay, let's see. It was this one that we read. Let's see if this pile is different. April 5th, 1963. Christopher. This may very well be my last notes in this regard. I'm afraid Catherine has already realized what I've been doing here all the time. In vain I've tried to explain myself and I'd know what might have been the outcome had I kept insisting. If you could only believe me, Christopher, because I know you intend well, but I can feel the doubt in your heart. Put your rational thoughts aside for a moment and yield to the facts. If I can do it, someone who was constantly taught in the wonders of science ever since his childhood, then so can you. I'm hoping that you will contemplate the possibility of some truth in my assessments once you read about my latest findings. It is imperative that you carry on with this task. Catherine is watching my every step and I'm afraid she'll take strong measures if I do anything out of the ordinary. Did you know? She has been talking to other doctors besides you, and psychiatrists. My god, Christopher, I fear that she's willing to shut me up in a madhouse. How is it possible that all of you won't believe me, as if what happened with my own son wasn't enough proof? In my adjacent notes, you will find an exhaustive essay on the origin of the curse and what should be done to eliminate it. I know the whole amulet deal must sound crazy, but you have to trust me. The tribe has been doing this for centuries. Are you going to forfeit all that knowledge and experience? They faced a god, Christopher, and lived to tell it. Now it's our turn to live and tell the story. And Christopher, if we fail to remove the curse and anything happens to me, I want you to do it and I have my complete mental faculties whilst I'm asking you this. It has been becoming more and more dangerous lately. Do not hesitate. There is simply no other way and you would be the only one left who can do it. Promise me. Promise me you will. I know I'm asking you to become a cold-hearted murderer, but Christopher, our lives and possibly many others are at stake. Isn't that enough to forget your vow, James? Interesting. 
Uh, let's see if Michael wrote in his journal about the mixture for the amulet. Story is fully revealed to me now that disturbing African mask is cursed. It isn't exactly important whether this curse is real or not, even though I'm actually willing to believe that due to my experiences inside this house. But the fact is that Blackwood believed it was very real. What drastic measures did he take to get rid of it? A murder? A sacrifice? Okay, let's read this again. Uh, where was it? <laughs> Okay. Uh, one representing the victim. That is now what is missing. And should it now then be um something from Michael or something from Blackwood? That is the question now. Yes. Hmm. Let's see if we can start mixing this. Nope. Nope. And nope. Hmm. Organic material representing the victim. I wonder. Well, I'm pretty sure time has moved forward again, so let's check the mailbox, shall we? Nothing. Okay, back to the house, and probably time to call Cherry again. Unless he's still on that marathon. He isn't coming here, he was lying to us. 1 p.m. Let's see. Either he really did take off the phone receiver when he left, or he's going to get one humongous phone bill, or someone is. <laughs> okay, now... Something belonging to us, and we still have a shovel, but no use to it, <laughs> for it. Okay, let's check our room this time. If Michael would have something in his belongings. Wanna write, Michael? I didn't want to touch the tripe right tripe trite what writer nor even to look at it. Let's see. No, we really don't have anything here, I guess. Hmm. I was feeling too nervous even to lay down and take a nap. Humdi dum, what could be representing the victim and which victim in this case and it can't be anything too solid but the berries and leaves are kind of solid da dum de dum let's go see the mini stove. Can we at least put stuff on it finally? Let's see, can we put the branch on it? Nope. That wasn't useful. Then what should we do to the branch? I wonder. Hmm. Yeah, some ingredients were missing. Yes, yes. Mm. 
Da dum da dum da dum. I think we are out of matches, by the way. I had only a few matches left. Oh, I think there's one. Hmm. What should be our next course of action then? Oh well, we made some nice progress again tonight, so I guess that will do for now. Because I am getting seriously way too sleepy to be able to focus and think. Yeah, as if sleepiness has anything to do with it. As if there's anything to weaken, so to speak. Anyway, when we come back we will again try to um, figure out the next step from here. So until next time. <laughs>